In this video, I am going to show you guys how to program your FM radio business card. Now, this is assuming that you've finished your soldering assembly and uh, am ready for the actual programming. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to download Atmel Studio 7. So we can go Atmel, Atmel Studio 7. You can look it up on Google. And it's right here. We can if we go down, scroll down. We can find the download here. So you can click right here. You'll, it'll let you download and you will install as normal. So I assume that you know how to install. So after that, what you'll do is you'll go to the project page here, which on the assembly instructions, there'll be a QR code you can use, or you can look it up on the AMP Lab main website. It should be also in the instructions, a direct link to. So you're going to want to do is you want to scroll down to the bottom of the page. And right here, there is a file that says FM Radio at Studio 7.zip. You'll click that download button right here, and you'll get a zip file. So once you've done that, what you're going to want to do is go to your Documents folder, and you'll find a folder called Atmel Studio. You'll open it up, click 7, and then what you'll do is you'll have that zip file, and once you open it up, you can see how it's like this. You'll drag that and drop it into this, into this folder here, which I've already done. You can see here's the project, and here's your thing, and all that. So this is the project file. Go over here and go over, there's the Arduino resources. I go here into debug. Then what I have here is all the compiled files. So once you've done that, what you'll want to do is get your get the OMX programmer and you'll want to plug it in like this. Can't see it right now, but Basically, what you'll want to do is, is once you plug it in, you're probably going to have to update the drivers. So what you want to do is, right here is a link to the driver download. You'll download a zip file. It'll look something like this. Find it. Look like that. And what you want to do is extract that to your desktop. And we're going to want to um, point your driver to this, this file right here. So what you want to do is you'll go to open this up, go to device manager, and you'll see this show up as a Atmo USB device. You'll right click on it, click update driver, then click browse my computer for driver software, browse, and then what you'll do is you'll browse to that folder that I just showed you. So it'll be this folder here once you've extracted it specifically and it's going to lead to that once you've done that click include subfolders you'll click next and it'll install it once you've done that you should have all your drivers ready and we're ready to actually start actual programming so what we'll do is we'll open up Atmel Studio 7 like this and it's going to load It's going to take it a moment. Go to Open Project. You'll be here. You click on FM Radio and click on this this part. So I'm going to open it up. So I've already got it there. It's FM Radio 2. So this is what it should look like when you open it up. What you want to first make sure is make sure it's set to 18 mega 168 PB. That's the chip that's on our FM radio. If not, you can click on this and you can change it. Click change the device and set it and make sure it matches this. Once you do that, what you want to do is you can, if you want to, you can take a look at the code. It should standard Arduino code. And what we'll do is we'll go to build, build solution. 
and it'll go through and it should say that it succeeded. If not, then something messed up and you'll have to make sure that all the files, which everything should be as it is, assuming you didn't mess with anything. So once you do that, what you'll do is you'll go to Tools, Device Programming, and this tool, which you'll want to make sure it's the AVR ISP Mark II, and it matches this device. So what you'll do is you'll click Apply, and this should pop up. And if it, and then what you want to do is take the ribbon cable that's all that's been modified and connect it up such that the ribbon is pointing towards the left. So when you do that, it should look like this picture that I'll pull up. So the photo, sh it should look like this when you connect it up. Once you do that, you'll do is you'll click read, and it should pop up with some signature like this and say 3.3 .3 volts. So once it's all good, go over to memories and make sure it matches this, this path. So it should be to your directory and then into the debug, and it should go to the ELF file. Once that's set, click program. It'll take it a moment. Once it's programmed, you should be able to check your LCD screen, and it should say AMP Lab, and then a frequency should pop up like a second later. Once it's good, um, you can close out and everything, and that's all you need to do.